some of those people were not to be blamed because many times their employers never deducted or deducted and never transmitted their deductions to the NIS on their behalf. And they were not aware of this until they retired and then sought to collect their pension and then were told, you don't have the contributions. So uh, there are thousands of Ghanis, tens of thousands of Ghanis who made those contributions in the past. A lot of them are elderly people and they never got a single benefit from the NIS. So the $10 billion will go to those people through a payment, a lump sum payment, since they can't qualify for the pension, they will each get a lump sum payment so that hopefully it would offset their contributions that they have made over the many years to the country and to the NIS itself. It is a sad situation when you go across the country and people tell you their story about the contributions that they made or how their employers ripped them off, uh, uh, which led to them now not receiving a pension. So we're working out, we're doing some modeling now as to how this could be done in a fair way to address those people. And once that's completed, once we have done the simulations of the different scenarios, then that will be announced and those people will receive a lump sum payment, each of them. Apart from that, we intend to make a big cash injection into the NIS itself because for years the NIS has been paying out more benefits than it has been receiving in contributions. 